Engineer 775 here wanting to uh, share a little prepper tip concerning um, power usage. Now this isn't for a whole house, this is for individual components. This meter, I've, I'm on my second one. I've used them a, a long time. They're, they're great. They're, they're not expensive. They're, they're called a kilowatt EZ P3 International. And uh, I just want to show you what, they, what they're for. So basically you can take and plug in any 110 appliance to this and then you plug that. Well I've got it into a cord now just to show you how power. But then you plug this device into the wall. So say we're wanting to see how much our refrigerator is using, just plug your refrigerator in here and then plug the kilowatt into uh, a receptacle. And it's going to give you a lot of information. What it's going to do is going to keep track of the total amount of time that the unit is plugged into the wall. It's also going to give you some things like this first menu is cost. How much is that appliance costing you? Costing you on a, um, let's see, let's get back to cost on a uh, hourly basis, day, week, uh, month, year, and a total cost. So you can figure out whether or not you need to replace. Again, the first thing you're doing when it comes to uh, specking out solar for um, a long-term solution is to, is to put the most efficient appliances in place. And you might have an old freezer that works good, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's using too much energy. And this little gizmo will let you know uh, how much energy it's using. You might want to replace it. So this thing will pay for itself, without a doubt. Uh, okay, cost and then your rate. Um, I pay 12.5 cents a kilowatt, and so I've plugged in that rate into the kilowatt meter. And that you have to do that, depending on what you might pay 10 cents, you might pay 18 cents. You have to plug in your actual rate with your utility company to figure out how much your appliance is costing you. Then it will trace, uh, track the amount of kilowatt hours you're actually being, that the appliance is using. So you, you don't just do this for like an hour or two. You want to put it in there for at least a few days, and that will, will tell you what your appliance is using on average. And, and this will keep track of the total number of kilowatts. And then you've got elapsed time. And so, like I've had this plugged in now for three minutes and I reset it all. So you can reset if, um, each, each menu item back to zero to start over. And then, um, and then volts is just telling me the line voltage coming in at my house right now. I'm running at 123.1 volts. You'll see that bounce around. So when you're trying to spec out something like a solar generator or a, a, you know what, what will the solar generator run? You know I get this question uh, a lot uh, every day. A lot of emails. Well it's important you know, not to just look on the tag of your appliance and it says, oh, it uses, you know, 5 amps um, and it's plugged in at 115 volts. Uh, it's not running all the time, hopefully not. And so you need to know on average what it's using so that you can specify and pick out the right solar generator for the job. And um, I just find that most people totally underestimate the, the amount of power that the gizmo they want to run is using. So anyway, that's a kilowatt meter, kilowatt easy. It's a great meter. So um, this will let you know how much power you need to produce to run whatever, a medical device, a small refrigerator, uh, your radios, charging batteries. And just as long as it's a 110 device, you can plug it in, plug it in a wall, and keep track of everything. I use this thing all the time. This will solve a lot of mysteries for you when you're de determining um, to go to small portable solar systems like the Sunrunner here and uh, or a hand crank generator or whatever and this also will tell you oh I need to replace that deep chest freezer um, be, uh, be, because it's just using 100 watts an hour and that's insane and so I need to get a new efficient freezer so again kilowatt EZ I'll put a link for it in the description and I highly recommend you get one of these. This thing will, will pay for itself. You'll find out what appliance in your house is just wasting a lot of power. And then it'll help you determine what you can run with um, off-grid devices. Thanks for watching.